please check out my revised website at creationsciencefiction.com. It's a great resource now for answering creationist claims. There's also documentaries, lectures, my blog, and more. Like my Facebook page, too. And if you want to support what I'm doing, you can become a contributor at patreon.com. So I recently did a video where I read Kent Hovind fan comments and some unknown creationist evidently did a video about me. Somebody sent me a link to it. And well, let me first play the, the comment that I read and then we'll see what his response to it was. The River of Faith said, To make a fossil, very specific things need to happen. For example, dust doesn't just blow over something and it dies and fossilizes. Water and sediment are required to make a fossil. This can be observed, tested, and verified over and over again. Therefore, all fossils formed at the same time. Making the flood is the only logical possibility. So according to the fossil record, many fossils of birds, bats, frogs, and probably all animals we have today, even ostriches, have been found showing all the animals existed at the same time as all the dinosaurs. Therefore, we have never observed any animal evolving from another type of animal. To recap the evidence, all the animals had to exist at the same time, and the global flood had to happen. Can you refute this? Well, yeah, I can. First of all, your conclusions don't match what you said in the paragraph preceding. If we can observe, test, and verify fossils forming today, then why would we have to assume that the flood was the only logical possibility? We also don't see current species represented in the fossil record. You'd be hard-pressed to even show me one. Okay, here's what the unknown creationist's response was. Well, first off, Billy, we can create fossils today, but it's by repeating what actually took place in the flood. In case you're new to the subject, fossils are formed worldwide in the same date range. This again matches the flood model. Well, no, we can't create fossils today by repeating what actually happened during any flood. We can make fossils or something that kind of look like fossils, but the process would be completely different. I have no idea what this guy's actually trying to say here. I mean, is he actually claiming that they can recreate the biblical flood in order to show that fossils were made that way? But what does he mean by fossils are found around the world in the same date range? How does that help a worldwide flood? I mean, we do have things like index fossils that are only found in specific layers. That doesn't help a worldwide flood. Probably the funniest thing is he doesn't even believe in the methods we use to date those fossils. Now, Bill, pay attention here. As far as fossils from animals living today, your claim, as we saw in the beginning, is that it would be hard, we would be hard-pressed to even find one living animal that is in the fossil record. Bill, this is why people think you're a moron. But is that what I said? Did I say we'd be hard-pressed to find any animals alive today in the fossil record? We also don't see current species represented in the fossil record. So there you have it. It's not what I said at all. I said species. Then he goes on to list a bunch of species, supposedly, that are alive today that we find in the fossil record. The problem is he doesn't actually list any species that were around millions of years ago that are still alive today. He gets all the information wrong. The Where's the Evolution Facebook page has to be one of the worst pages on Facebook. I'm still not so sure that it isn't run by somebody just trying to make creationists look bad.
Now, what I said about not finding any species in the fossil record that are alive today, if taken literally for all fossils, wasn't quite true. I mean, we do find Homo sapiens in the fossil record, and we sure see them alive today. But what we were discussing at the time were layers that would have been left down by the mythical Noah's flood. Most creationists put those somewhere around the KT or KPG boundary, or at least in the early tertiary. So, Mr. Unknown Creationist, you not only failed to correct me, you put out a video full of bad information that you failed to even notice was wrong. 